welcome back and welcome to another book talk before I start this one can I just say thank you so much for all the love on my last video um, my last video was my booktube newbie tag video and it was so nice to have so many comments welcoming me to booktube I feel like I'm kind of part of it now not just a book blogger who happens to also make videos having said that I have already reviewed the book that I'm going to talk about on my blog today so I will um, link that down below I reviewed this um, on UK publication date which was the 1st of June uh, this one came out on the 30th of May in the US and the 1st of June in the UK the publication date was actually pushed up because the um, hype around this book was so massive and this book instantly became a New York Times bestseller and that is When Dimple Met Rishi. Um, now I sort of was originally drawn to this book because of this cover. If you follow my Instagram or my Twitter or my Snapchat you will know that I am a big coffee fiend and so um, I was drawn to this because of the iced coffee on the cover however when I read about what it was about I um, knew that I wanted to read it because of that as well so if you haven't heard what this book is about I will tell you just dropping my bookmark there uh, see that Dimple Shah had it all figured out with graduation behind her. She's more than ready for a break from her family and from Mama's inexplicable obsession with her finding the ideal Indian husband. <coughs> Ugh, Dimple knows they must respect her principles on some level though. If they truly believed she needed a husband right now, they would have paid for her they wouldn't have paid for her to attend a summer program for aspiring web developers, right? Rishi Patel is a hopeless romantic, so when his parents tell him that he, that he and his future wife will be attending the same summer programme, or oh, we can see something happening here, uh, wherein he'll have to woo her, he's totally on board because as silly as it sounds to most people in his life, Rishi wants to be arranged, believes in the power of tradition, stability and being a part of something much bigger than himself himself. The Shahs and Patels didn't mean to start turning the wheels on this suggested arrangement so early in their children's lives, but when they noticed them both gravitating towards the same summer program, they figured, why not? So, this book takes place at this summer program in San Francisco, um, and it takes place in that time between finishing high school and going off to university, which, if you watched um, my lobsters video you will know that I really love books that take place in that time um, the final book in the um, uh, to all the boys I've loved before trilogy also takes place in that time and I just think it's like the perfect time to set a book because so much is changing so I love the fact that this was taking place in that time having just read lobsters as well the fact that this is kind of the American version of that time in children's adults whatever you want to call them lives then um, I, I really enjoyed the kind of comparison with that so I loved these characters this book is told in dual narrative so we get to hear from both of these characters we get to hear from Dimple and we get to hear from Rishi and when situations arise being able to hear from both of the characters points of view and um, getting their different take on that situation is always fantastic so I loved the structure of the book as well. The thing that I loved about Dimple was that she was a strong powerful feminist individual and really wanted to stand up for those beliefs. Beliefs. She also um, wanted kind of the people around her to stand up for those beliefs and I really respected her for that because she wasn't willing to kind of compromise on things just because it fitted in with everyone else and then we have Rishi who is a bit of a romantic and is an optimist and I loved how sort of hopelessly romantic he is um normally we have kind of the girl in the book being in that role so I love the fact that it was the male being in that role um this book they're obviously intelligent individuals 
Bibles as well. And I loved that about this book. They're on this summer program for um, coding and designing apps. And I just thought that that was fantastic. The fact that we've not got a silly girl or a dumb jock you know those kind of stereotypes that you find in books and YA contemporary in particular I like the fact that they were both intelligent um they were both strong-minded and you know we have the the romantic in Rishi and the kind of strong and stubborn in Dimple um their families also make this interesting I could definitely recognize their families in some of my uh friends families and um I really liked the kind of bringing in of uh, Rishi's brother as well. Um, there is going to be possibly a, not a sequel, but a spin-off from this one. And I'm really hoping that it's going to be Rishi's brother that features. So uh, I am keeping my eye out for news of that one. Obviously, this is YA Contemporary. It's a bit of a romance. It's a bit of a love story. So you need to be prepared for that. But there are also the, the fact that, you know, we have diverse characters in this. I love the fact that it's, you know, these two um, main characters who have Indian families and want to put them together in an arranged marriage. And, you know, they may or may not want that. Um, but yeah, this was just a really fun read. Lots of people have been talking about it and I thought I would give you my take on it. Um, obviously, I've put my review on my blog, um, but I just, you know, it lives up to expectation, definitely. People think that this is going to be um, a cute romance with some extra punch and that's basically what it is. Uh, this is, um, this, I read this on audiobook even though I have the physical copy that's what I'm trying to say um and the audiobook was really good because they did have two different voices for the two different characters so it's dual narrative in every sense of the word but the hardback is absolutely gorgeous and the photo shoot was apparently really fun this poor guy apparently according to uh Sandy Menon I went to a signing with her um this poor guy had to have this uh cup of coffee thrown on him so many times um and with my with my book I got this nice matching bookmark as well which is cool so yeah that's my thoughts on what when Dimple met Rishi if you've read this please leave me a comment below um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you would like to subscribe please do I would love to have you on board thank you for watching this one I will be back next week with some more videos for you so I will see you then bye